What if I told you there are three types of people in this world? Would you listen? You A's are not fakes. I said it. YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and smack that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things and YouTube can be a part of the Mighty 4 Kicks Brigade. And make sure you cop that merch. Teespring, the Solution for Kicks supply store. Well, supply room, pardon me. Teespring, the Solution for Kicks supply room. We got hoodies. We got t-shirts. We got v-necks. We got long sleeve shirts. We got tights for the ladies. Trust me, you'll love it, all right? Support the channel, support the merch. It's gonna be a good one. All right, so today is Wednesday, it's Woo Wednesday. Make sure you check out Woo Wednesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time on WTSR, The Heat on Live 365. That's the radio station, it is free. Got old school R&B, 90s R&B, um, neo soul, um, conscious rap, West Coast rap, East Coast rap is all on it. Down South rap, we got your, your trap, all that good stuff. That whatever you're into, it's on there. All right, and it's music, different music every day. All right, it's not the same stuff over and over and over. And you know, oh, Megan the Stallion, Cardi B is not on repeat, nor is Little Pump. We ain't doing all that over there, so it's, it might not be for you, depending on your demographic. But let's get into it. You know, there's this thing called willful ignorance. I had a problem with that. And sometimes I don't have a problem with that because it means that you just don't care. Ignorance, they say, is bliss. The less I know, the least you can come after me for or hold me accountable for. But another part of ignorance is the willful part. Like, you know the information is there and you have no desire to pursue it nor learn anything about it. And that's the part of ignorance that I have a problem. It simply means to not know. That's what ignorance means. Like, oh, you're ignorant. You know, and people have been using that as a derogatory term forever. And it's really not derogatory in its purest form. It just simply means to not know. There's nothing ignorant about that. You simply did not know. But let me tell you something. A good lawyer buddy of mine once told me years ago, ignorance does not exonerate you of liability because you had the ability to know or learn not to do something. Let's move on. So for some reason, the UA thing has come up again. And for good reason it has, because resellers, it's your fault. That's why we're here. But are UA sneakers a bad thing? Are they a good thing? And why are they a thing? Resellers, it's your fault, but you're not alone. Uh, big brand stores, it's your fault. Boutiques, it's your fault. So, how did this come about? Today, I was on another social media platform that had absolutely nothing to do with sneaker talk. All right? And somebody was promoting their um, their hustle, if you will. I, I don't want to call it a business because that, that's kind of legalese thing right there. They, they're promoting their hustle. And there's nothing wrong with a hustle if it's not illegal no one's being harmed all right so i saw it i was like oh okay all right i wasn't in the mood for looking at sneakers all right if you watch the channel you know i'm kind of not in the mood for sneakers not too much as of late i'm kind of moving past to that we will come back to that though y'all know i'll go down the beaten path for a moment so i went to the person's page and see what they were offering i was like oh okay and you know what shocked me i have never seen this before I've never seen a, a seller who showed his face and said, the sneakers were UAs. <laughs> Mind blown. I said, well, goodness, this is where we are. Remember I told y'all in the car that a new day is upon us? I told y'all months ago. I think I said it first back in May. I said, we're in the midst of a a, a UA rep age. Another one has arrived. Remember you had one way back in 2013. Some of your big name sneaker YouTubers have um, 
gotten big since then, all right? They were indulging in the rep thing and all that stuff in the UAs and all that. So when he was very transparent, and I use that word for a reason because I'm quoting myself, I was blown away. I was like, wow, he actually gave people a choice to buy these shoes. So just to be clear, all right, let me get my Stephen A. Smith voice on. Now let's be clear. Is a UA fake? Because that seems to be a problem. Still, and here we are in 2020, and this was hotly contested in 2017 when we saw the resurgence of it again. Is our UA's fakes? Mm. No. No, they aren't. I said it. No UA's aren't fake. The problem is, is that it. It's, it became cool to follow large, well, big sneaker names, sneaker YouTuber names, big big name sneaker YouTubers. I'm stumbling all over myself because I'm thinking too fast when my mouth can move. And the thing was is that if you had 100K subscribers, you get 500K subscribers, you get a million. You were the all-knowing truth. Or you were basically the Supreme Court of sneaker YouTube. What they deem as truth, in fact, and found it, it had to come from them. And all the little kids, 16, 17, 25 year olds, ran right behind them. Yep, they said it. You know, 500K. Yep, they said it. Million subscribers, they said it. Come on now, I'm a grown man. No, I'm gonna question some things because that's how you learn. This is collegiate learning right here. I'm trying to teach y'all something. When Kids, if you haven't been to college yet, you're about to go, you know what you can do in college that you really can't do in high school? You can challenge your professor. And if that professor's worth their weight, they accept it and they engage in it. As long as it's professional, you can challenge your teacher. It's encouraged because that fosters understanding. Now, what we have in Sneaker YouTube Nah, you, you can't question the people that at the 100K mark. Somebody got more subscribers than you, and guess what? You can know way more about a certain area than them. It doesn't mean anything, because nobody knows who you are. That's how it works. All right? it's, it's like the, the um, class president election in high school. It's a popularity contest. The person that's running could be the best fit to represent your class to the faculty of that school, but because they aren't popular and they aren't one of the cool kids, you don't vote for them. And that's how it all starts. That's foolish. That's very foolish. So for the grown-ups out there, or to the uh the very open mind and conceptual youngsters that happen to watch the channel, listen to me. I'm gonna help you. There's this term called <laughs> uh unauthorized, authorized, or authorized, unauthorized, or unauthorized, authentics. Sounds like an oxymoron, right? How can it be unauthorized, but authentic? And let me step to the side. See this piece of literature that I just put up there? I want you to read that for a second. All right, you can come back to it. You didn't read fast enough. Basically, I'm gonna break it down to you because a lot of you don't like to read, and that's why we're here right now. The information is there, but you chose not to pursue it. You'd rather listen to somebody that's popular and let them shape and mold you because you love clout. You like to be down. If you're somebody like me, you never wanted to fit in, you don't care, all right? You don't care. You, you're cool with being who you are. This is your niche. You, you're fine, you work within that. Even the thing about this generation too is that it's cool to be weird, but everybody else is trying to be weird, so it's no longer cool anymore. It's just what people are doing. I, I come back to that too. So this is how it works. I told you all in the car something. Remember the QAQC conversation I had with you? The quality assurance, quality control guy, lady that works for the brand. The brands have contracts with multiple factories, multiple factories. Now, let me 
Let me let the cat. Yeah. Come on out of here, cat. Come out of that bag. It's a transparent bag too, kind of opaque. Yeah, it's kind of opaque. Come on, cat, out of the opaque bag. There are factories out there that have authorized contracts with the brand to make a set amount of sneakers. And that piece of literature that I put up there, it gave you a hypothetical number. Uh, this factory, whatever the name is, out in Guangzhou, all right, that's the actual place where they make sneakers. We're gonna contract you to make 50,000. This factory across town, we're contracting you to make 50,000. This other one's gonna make 50,000. QAQC person comes in, let me see those sneakers. All right, they look at it, boom, boom, boom. Matter of fact, let me just pull out a sneaker just for giggles. Some random sneaker. This is not a UA sneaker. If you saw the video, you know these came from the outlet. All right, yeah. Hey, we need you to make, we have a contract, let's back up for a second. We have a contract to make a hundred, hypothetically y'all, all right? This is a hypothetical, just so you can learn something. This is not what happened, but this is what happens, all right? They have three contracts to make 150,000 of this sneaker, all right? You get 50,000, you're gonna make 50,000, you're gonna make 50,000. QAQC person, shows up at the fact hey let's see that batch remember that word you're going to see it when you start doing your research i want you to do some research kids research get back to the solution tell me what you find batch remember that word so mr or mrs qaqc specialist shows up it you know they got a six-figure job out there hopefully and you look and they know what to look for all right this is actually the true authenticator, all right? The QAQC people from the brands are the only real authenticators. And they look, uh, nah, this is not what we're looking for. They pick up several pairs. Hey, this whole batch is bad. They go to the other factory. Oh, okay, these are good, okay. These are good, mm. all right. Now these, th this this group right here, that's bad. Put those off to the side. They go to the next factory. Uh, yeah, same issue. So what happens to the ones that didn't pass the QAQC process? What happens to those sneakers? Where did they go? All right. Where did those sneakers go? We're just gonna leave this one right here. No, it's not gonna make it. We'll leave that one right there for now. What happens to that uh, give or take 60,000 pairs that didn't make it. Where does it go? The brand doesn't care. The contract is set. They're gonna make more pairs. Now that factory will go, well, hmm, they don't want the shoes back, all right? They're not gonna put a tell us, hey, stamp them be great. We're gonna ship them to the outlets and sell them as such at retail most times until people aren't buying they put them on sale just told you something else all right you know these aren't bad we just can't sell them they didn't approve them approved authorized pairs authentic unauthorized sneaker so what happens to those sneakers made under contract by that factory. Those are UAs. Those are the sellers. The brand doesn't care what happens to those. So off into the ecosystem they go. And guess who else can buy those? Boutiques. Oh, let me go hide. <laughs> Yeah, I said it, I said it. That's the two elements that those sneakers go. And there's also a third element. Within the sellers, okay, you have that, I don't wanna use the W word, cause that implicates people. <sighs> the sites, all right? Let's say the sites, they 
the, the factory will sell to a seller that has the sites. Remember I said the batch? You go on these sites and you see the batch word? Remember I said that? Rewind the video back and you know just slide that the little counter thing and just, yeah, go back. I said the batch word. And they'll have a, a separate warehouse and it will call them, um, you know, the, uh, you know, retail pairs, the, the one of ones, uh, man, I'm, I'm trying not to, to name places and things out here. Cause I know things. All right. I bought sneakers and I know things. I need to have that shirt made. <laughs> uh, anyway, you you have these warehouses they went from the factory to the warehouse and you too can partake of these unauthorized sneakers now you can buy them in bulk all right because they also tell you that when you go and do your research that we have wholesale prices now there's also profits to be made here okay so <laughs> uh, I, i'm going off the top of my head y'all and i'm trying my best to edit on the fly with this because I don't want to implicate anybody or any element. Okay, I'll do it this way. I can say this. What do you think a a UA an unauthorized authentic pair really costs if you wanted to purchase them? I'm going to tell you. A good one of one UA unauthorized authentic pair that could be in your stores, your your Foot Locker, your your Champs, your JD Sports, your Shoe Palace. All right, they just didn't make the cut via QAQC. Fifty to eighty dollars. I'll be back. Let y'all marinate on that. Fifty to eighty dollars, and that covers your one seventy pairs up to your two twenty fives, and that's why you see those cases with all those sneakers in it. If you have the money to establish your inventory, you too can get in that game if you so choose, and that's how it works, people. So how do I know this? I had a conversation with a gentleman on there and he was very transparent. And when I said, hey, do you know what a UA sneaker is? I was talking to the people in the conversation. Another guy had posted that literature that you see right there. So we chopped it up. I told him, I said, hey, you know, I'm not here to, to shoot a shot or take somebody down or question you and everything. But, you know, people need to know you said on your your profile on a social media platform that you have ua sneakers trusted sellers and all that stuff stock x go oops said it yeah i'm the solution for the sleuths for kicks make sure you comment like subscribe tap that notification button check out wtsr the sleuths for kicks supply room and the delicious tears podcast on all your podcast platforms and also that's going to be a youtube channel real soon it's there but there's nothing on it yet as i'm doing this video right now and i'm out of here boom